Hello and welcome to Perspectives for Wednesday, November 23rd, 2016. I'm Deacon Pedro. The year of mercy may have come to a close, but today Pope Francis continued his catechesis on the works of mercy. Today's general audience took place inside the Paul VI Hall because of the rain, and the Holy Father focused on two more of the spiritual works of mercy, instructing the ignorant and counseling the doubtful. These two can be lived out both individually and in a more organized manner, the Pope said. Instructing the ignorant especially can be the focus of more institutional efforts, as seen by the works of so many holy men and women throughout the ages. These pioneers of instruction, as Pope Francis called them, fully understood this work of mercy and found a way of life that was able to transform society itself. Counseling the doubtful, on the other hand, is not so much a question of imparting knowledge, but of soothing the pain and suffering that comes from the fear and anguish that are the consequences of doubt. At times, everyone has doubts, the Pope said. These can be positive if they lead us to deepening our faith and coming to understand the mystery of God's love. But doubts must be overcome. We do not make of the faith an abstract theory where doubts are multiplied, Pope Francis said. Rather, we make the faith our very life. We seek to practice it in the service of the brethren, especially the most needy. We see then that these two works of mercy can be part of our daily lives. Each one of us can commit to living them. And so, Pope Francis concluded, the most profound teaching we are called to transmit and the most secure certainty we can offer to free us from our doubts is the love of God with which we are loved. And also in Rome, these past two days, the Ordinary Council of the Synod of Bishops held a two-day meeting to continue preparations for the next Ordinary Assembly of the Synod of Bishops, which is scheduled to take place in two years, in October 2018. The theme of the Synod will be Youth, Faith, and Vocational Discernment, with the hopes that the Church can accompany young people on their way of life towards maturity so that through a process of discernment they can discover their life project and realize it with joy, opening the encounter with God and with men, and actively participating in the building up of the church and society. A statement from the Synod Council explains that the two major areas of focus during this two-day meeting were a report on the progress of the preparatory document, which will include a questionnaire that will be distributed to bishops' conferences, Eastern Synods, and other church leadership bodies, and further examination of the Synod's organizational and procedural bylaws. The Synod of Bishops is a meeting of bishops walking with the Holy Father. It was created by Pope Paul VI in 1965 in order to respond to the desire of the Second Vatican Council Fathers to keep alive the good spirit born of that experience. The last synod was on the family. It was a journey that lasted two years, and its fruit was Pope Francis's apostolic exhortation on the family, Amoris Laetitiae. And if you find yourself looking for confessions or mass right now and close to where you are, there's an app for that. As a fruit of a year of mercy, a Scottish Archbishop has launched what is thought to be the world's first GPS-powered sacrament-finding app. Archbishop Leo Cushley from the Archdiocese of St. Andrews and Edinburgh yesterday announced the launch of the Catholic app which will allow users to find the nearest and soonest opportunities to go to confession and Holy Mass, as well as adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. The Archbishop called the app a little bit of smart technology that could make a big impact on how the Catholic Church brings the mercy of God and the joy of the Gospel to our contemporary world. The Catholic app will go live in early 2017. It is the hope of the creators that the announcement this week will persuade other dioceses throughout the Catholic Church to purchase the app in the weeks to come. You can learn more about the app at thecatholicapp.com. And that's all for today. For more news, commentary, and other inspiring programs, visit our website, saltandlighttv.org. God bless.